हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस नाउ इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन द पोजीशन वेक्टर आर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वाई कोऑर्डिनेट्स राइट सो वी आर गिवन दैट आर इज इक्वल टू 4 इनटू t माइनस sin t i प्लस 2t स्क्वायर माइनस 3 j राइट सो वी आर गिवन दिस r वेक्टर एंड इट हैज अ one component along the x axis and another component along the y axis right and it is said that where t is in seconds and the arguments for the sign is in radians right so we are asked to find the magnitude of the velocity right so we are required to find the speed and the normal and tangential components of the acceleration so now if you want to find the velocity so then velocity will be equal to dr by dt right so we have to integrate both of these components right since we are given the components as a function of time right so now if i take the derivative of this this function so then this will be 1 and the sin derivative will be minus uh, cos of t right and this will be i and similarly we will have 4t and this will become 0 right so this will be 4t j right and since we are asked that when t is equal to 1 second we have to find the velocity right so when t is equal to 1 second let's say the velocity is v1 right so this will be 4 1 minus cos of 1 i plus 4 into 1 j right so since cos of 1 is in radians right so we have to convert the calculator into radians to calculate this so now when we solve this so the velocity after 1 second is has two components right so this is the velocity vector so we can find the velocity magnitude so the velocity magnitude will be 1.839 square plus 4 square and we will take the square root right so this will be the velocity so let me find this so now uh, the velocity magnitude is 4.40 meter per second so now if i draw uh, the velocity vector according to the x y coordinates right so if this is x coordinate and this is y coordinate right so we can see that the velocity has two components one component is along the x axis which is 1.839 and another component is along the y uh, axis is right so let's say that this is the vx component of the velocity let's say this is vx and there is one another component of the velocity along j axis is right so this is the let's say vy component right and the summation of both of these components will give us the velocity magnitude which is 4.4 meter per second right so let's say that this is the velocity vector right so let's say this is my velocity magnitude which is 4.40 meter per second right and as we have learned in the tangential and normal coordinates that the velocity is always uh, acting tangent to the uh, path right so let's say if this is the path of the motion so then this velocity will be tangent to the curve right so this means that the tangential if you want to represent the tangential axis so then this means that this velocity is along the tangential axis let's say so if i if i extend this line so we can say that this line is tangent right this is the tangential axis right since we are required to find the acceleration components along the tangential axis and along the normal axis right so let's say that this is the tangent axis so now if we find this theta right so then we will be able to know the the angle of the tangential axis with the with the x axis is right so how to find this theta so then we can find this theta by using the tan theta right so if i write that tan theta from this triangle right we can draw uh we can draw that vy here as well right so if this is that vy so from by using tan theta this will be equal to vy divided by vx so theta will be equal to tan inverse and vy is 4 right so we can write 4 and the vx is 1.839 right so this is 1.839 so this will give us the angle of the tangential axis with the x axis is right So now when we solve this so this theta comes out to be 65.31 right so now if i draw again the x axis and y axis let's say this is my positive x and y axis so this means that the tangential axis 
is making angle theta with the x-axis is and that angle is how much so that angle is 65.31 right so if this is the tangential axis so the no normal axis will be perpendicular with this t-axis right so now I can draw the normal axis as well right so this will be that normal axis so we can say that this is my normal axis and this will be perpendicular to this t-axis right so if this is 6.53 angle right so then this angle is also uh, if this is 65.31 degrees so then this angle is also 65.31 uh, degrees right since this line is perpendicular with this line and this normal axis is perpendicular with this t-axis right so this angle and this angle yeah, are equal right so we can say that this angle is also 65.31 right so now uh, if we take another derivative of this velocity equation right so if i write that the velocity is 4 into 1 minus cos of t into i plus 4 tj and if we take another derivative of this so then this will be equal to the acceleration right so then this will be 4 and this will be this will the derivative of this will be 0 and cos will be minus sine right so this will become plus this will be sine t i right so this will be 4 sine t and this will be plus 4 j right so now we have acceleration in terms of i and j components right 4 sine of t i and plus 4 j so now if we if we find the acceleration after one second right so then let's say that the acceleration after one second is a1 right so we have to put one in instead of t right so this will be plus 4j and again this will be in radians so this is the acceleration vector after one second right so we can find the acceleration magnitude so acceleration magnitude will be equals to let's say this is acceleration magnitude so this will be 3.366 whole square plus 4 square so this will give us acceleration magnitude so the magnitude comes out to be 5.228 meter per second and again uh, since this acceleration has two components one component is along the x-axis and another component is along the y-axis so let's say that this is the acceleration component along the x-axis and we have one another component along the y-axis right so we can find the acceleration magnitude which is uh, the acceleration magnitude is this 5.228 right and now from by using this ax and ay components of this acceleration we can find that theta right so let's say that uh, the angle made by this acceleration with the x-axis is let's say alpha right so we can find this alpha angle so again we can use uh, 10 alpha so then this alpha will be equal to 10 inverse and this will be equal to a y divided by a x right so this is a y so alpha will be equal to 10 inverse and a y is 4 and a x is 3.366 so this will give us the acceleration angle with the x axis so now the angle of the acceleration with the positive x axis is uh, 49.92 so now if we represent the acceleration vector in on this figure in this diagram right so what will be the acceleration vector so this tangential axis is making 65.31 degrees right so this means that the acceleration will be somewhere between these two lines right since the angle is less than 65.31 right so this means that the acceleration will be somewhere here right and this acceleration will be making this angle will be how much so this angle will be 49.92 and this uh, the acceleration magnitude is 5.228 right so now we have to find the components of this acceleration with this t axis and when with this normal axis is right since we are required to find the normal and tangential components of this acceleration so now uh, we need to resolve this acceleration with these two components right so we are required to have this angle right so if you if we find this angle let's say that this angle is beta right so this angle will be equal to this angle 65.31 minus this right so we can say that beta we can say that beta angle will be equal to 65.31 minus this angle which is 49.92 so this will be the angle of the acceleration with the tangential axis is right so this beta so now this beta comes out to be 15.39 degrees right so as we can see that 
the tangential component so let let me draw that components of acceleration right so it will have one component along this tangential axis right it will have one component along this tangential axis and this will be a t and it will have one component that will be parallel to this normal axis right so that component will be along the normal axis so let's say that this is that component which is parallel to the normal axis so this will be a n so from this triangle we can say that a t is equal to a cos of beta right and a is the a magnitude is 5.228 cos of beta and beta angle is 15.39 so this will give us the tangential component of the acceleration right and we can find the normal component of acceleration that would be equal to a sine of beta since this is the sine component of a right so we can say that a n will be equal to 5.228 sine of 15.39 degrees right so the, the both of these equation will give us the tangential and normal components of the acceleration now when we solve both of these equations so the tangential component of the acceleration is equal to 5.04 meter per second square and the normal component of the acceleration is equal to 1.39 meter per second square so this is the solution of this particular problem